I'm here with head coach Kevin Gilmartin. Coach, both you and MIT are coming off a bye week. How does that help your preparation for homecoming? I mean, for both teams to have two weeks, I mean, it gives a lot of extra time for preparation and everything. I mean, what we talked about last week, actually, you have some time to uh, to get the bodies right, get the minds right, but at the same time, it gives us a chance to, you know, take a look at what they're doing, and at the same time, they're doing the same thing with us. So the positive things is that both teams have had plenty of time to prepare themselves, so we're going to be able to find out, you know, just which team is better, because it's, it's no, no, neither team is going to trick one another. It's just, all right, let's come out and play football now. Coach, the last couple of weeks we've talked a lot about your defensive staff. Mm -hmm. As the new head coach, you brought in an entirely new coaching staff on the offensive side of the ball. How have these guys, Coach Lynch, Coach Moffitt, Coach Shedlowski, and Coach Key, really learned your offensive style and taken this offensive group as a whole? Right, well, we bring in four coaches. Two of them are previous, uh, previous players for us within this offense. And so they've already knew it going in, Coach Lynch and Coach Kihu. Uh, so the nice thing with them is that they understood the offense and it was just t their chance to learn it as, as coaches. Uh, Coach Shedlowski and Coach Moffitt, on the other hand, were proven coaches that were coming in and it was their chance to try to learn the offense, but at the same time, we've had it since spring ball together. And so the questions changed from, uh, hey, do you do this, to now it's more along the lines of, do we do? You know, because now they feel like they have the ownership and they understand it. And that's what, you know, you develop as a staff each year going through. Well, Coach, thank you very much, and good luck against MIT on Saturday. Thank you. I'm here with Salve Regina's defensive line, sophomore Hayden Stanton, senior Stephen Tomaselli, and junior Gian Ruffin. Guys, thanks for joining me. Welcome. What was your favorite moment of camp this year? Favorite moment of camp? I'd have to say it was about week two when um, things started flaring up between the offensive and defensive line during one-on-ones and, and whatnot. Um, things were said, things were, you know, a, little, a lot of aggression back and forth. So we went back that day and uh, our fearless leader, Coach Greg Goslin, basically uh, let us have the go-ahead and um, get a little revenge back on the, on the offensive line. So Hayden, Gian, myself, and uh, D. Lyman, Luke Gambale decided to fill up about 50 or so balloons and uh, fill them with in Coach Edlowski's car. That was a uh, that was a highlight of camp, and let it be known that you know Coach Sedlowski started you know judging the defensive line a lot more fairly uh, <laughs> next practices. Did uh, Coach Sedlowski get any revenge on you guys? Or he knows better not to do that. Awesome. Uh, my favorite part of camp, uh, I'd have to go with one night us three and also Luke Ambali. Um, we had water guns. We run, went around the dorms and we. Uh, we got some other teams, and uh, then the following night we got attacked. So kind of they kind of got some revenge on us, uh, but that you know kind of helped take the edge off camp a little bit. Uh, a couple weeks ago, we heard from Josh Burnett about playing under Coach Gilmartin. Any insight from you guys you can give us to playing under playing under Coach Gilmartin and you know Coach Goff and Coach Wyke? You know, I can say for uh, playing for Coach Goff, um, I think I can speak for the whole defense. We really we've really enjoyed it. Uh, new defense coming in. We thought you know transition might be a little tough for us, but it's gone smoothly so far. Uh, he's a passionate, fiery coach. Uh, he commands respect from his players, and he gets that respect. And uh, we all really enjoy playing for him on Saturdays. Also, it's always a plus, you know, when you have your head coach come from the same hometown, you know, stand up Franklin Square, Long Island. Gian, you moved um, from tight end last year over to the defensive line. How's that this transition been for you? Have they welcomed you with open arms? Yeah, it's gone smoothly. I mean, these guys have been great. Uh, they welcomed me onto the defense, defensive line uh, very smoothly, and the whole defense has uh, welcomed me too. So, I mean, uh, I love flying around with these guys, and we've been having a lot of fun, so I'm really enjoying it. Looking forward to your homecoming game against MIT this weekend. What goes into preparing for this rematch of their homecoming last year? What kind of emotions are going into this game? Well, like Coach said, um, both teams have had two weeks to prepare for this game. And um, unlike last year, we went into that game, you know, undefeated. Maybe our team thought that our heads were, you know, somewhere else that day. But rest assured, this upcoming weekend, we'll, uh, we're going to go all out 100%. Yeah, last year I think we took took some things for granted. Uh, we were on a team high, and we we went into that game. Uh, I think that we weren't fully focused, and uh, we let it we let a smart, uh, disciplined team get the best of us. But um, this year we've had a couple weeks to prepare, and um, 
we're confident that we can come out and execute a plan to beat those guys. And yeah, just to reiterate what these uh, two guys were saying, um, that that loss is definitely still fresh in our minds, even though it was a year ago. Um, we haven't forgot about it, and uh, we'll be ready come Saturday. Yeah, I mean, not to bring up you know any bad feelings about emotions, it was a, a tough loss last year. So is that kind of going into your game plan this weekend? Absolutely. Yeah, it definitely adds to it. A little extra motivation. Excellent. Well, guys, thank you so much. Good luck on Saturday. Thank, thank you. Of course. Thank